Honorable Gumau. Do you Gumau, want to ask you a question? Yeah, Honorable Gumau, if you can hear me, because if yes. you say this has been going on since when, 2011, when you got to the house, why are you just picking up now? The issue, Chambali, is that they always say, listen to Indume. Now, have you not listened to Indume? That we have an internal mechanism of resolving issues. So, if you want to do anything, they will tell you, follow the internal mechanism. These are the internal mechanism in the order, in the order, in the book of order of the house. Then when you started following, you will be frustrated until after, you will not realize that you are frustrated until after everything has passed. You will complain for next year, they will tell you they will correct it. That is what is happening. Then what we are saying now is, we are tired of that. This is a government of change of General Muhammad Buhari. This thing has been happening throughout, not only 211 as I said. I only quoted 211 because that is the time I came to the house. Immediately we were sworn in in 2011, the old members that were there from 2007 informed us that if you are not careful, there will be party. Then we said we cannot agree. We started fighting it since that time. You know, you, 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 you have told us the transition. Uh, uh, let me, let me, let me come in here. The Nigerian populace will agree with us. What? They, you, you told us that they, what the, we are saying is the, the padding like occurs. Uh, a moment, please. Uh, you, the padding occurs when I think the transition where this budget is moving from the National Assembly to the presidency. That's when this padding occurs. So Nigerians would love exactly. to know. The, those behind it, because now it seems that it is a click thing, it's a click affair, because it's not an affair by the entire House or by the entire National Assembly. Who are those who finally take charge of exactly. uh, the budget when the House is done with it? When the House is done with it, the budget will go back to appropriation committee, then to leadership. The leadership will take over. The issue of going to the president, the issue of ascent, the issue of bringing it back to the House of Reps, and immediately they come back, they will just share it to individual members. They will never come to the chamber hall again to discuss it because it has already been ascended by the president. I hope you understand. So would it be safe to so say it's the not leadership? That after president ascent, it will uh, come back to the here. chamber. No, it will uh, go to individual offices of the members. A minute, would it be safe to say the leadership... Then it is uh, their member in his office who realize that something is padded because he will come to check his constituency project, he will see it as it is approved by the chamber, then he will check somebody's constituency project and realize that that person's own is ten times his own, which was not approved in the chamber. Mm -mm. So uh, if that is what it is, should we put our questions before the leadership of the assembly? Should we what? Put our questions, Put our, questions our queries, before the, before the leadership of the... That is it. Jibril has already done it. Yes, before the leadership of the house. Why did you change this and this? We have them. If you take the budget, it's something you can see very clear. If you want the budget to be here, we can bring it here. We have it. They have already given us copies. It is not something that is not in public domain. I have it in my house. I have it in my office. If you come, you can see it. So it is the leadership that will answer now. Uh, Why did this and this and this comes in? Could you just tell us? Let them not deceive anybody that a leader must have more than an ordinary number, ordinary member. We agree to that. We don't have problem with that. Let them not deceive anybody that it is a normal practice in the house. We agree that it is a normal practice that leaders should do padding. But okay. it is not a normal practice that House of Representatives or Senate do padding. It is the leadership that does the padding. Can, can you tell us? Leadership, I don't mean principal officers only. Chairman of committee, they connive with principal officers. For example, I'm just giving you an example. If, for example, the speaker wants a project in power, then the chairman of committee of power will also want a project in power. Then for the speaker to get his own going through, he has to approve his own and that of chairman of power committee. Can you tell us, Gumau, just, just, just a minute, for you to understand. If, if you can hear me, can, so can you... Not only principal officers, we are saying whoever padded this 2016 budget should be investigated and prosecuted. You are asking the ICPC and the EFCC and the Attorney General to come in and investigate. Wouldn't that be seen as interference by the executive arm of government? They are coming in, Mofe, after a petition. It's not that they will come on their own. I believe and I'm promising you many people are petitioning them on this issue. When they come after a petition, they are not interfering. They can be interfering if 
Nobody asks them to do. Nobody, the, the law officer of the country, if I petition the attorney general now, will, will he just sit down on my petition? If I petition EFCC, they sh will they just sit down on my petition? They are supposed to investigate. That's what we are saying. We are not saying that they should interfere. They should inter in investigate if they are petitioned. Mm. So uh, for some people, they would say this is, uh, this is just uh, people who are discontent with the fact that they are not in positions of privilege. And as such, you know, they are trying to raise some dust over you know, what has been the practice for many years. You see, you see Mope, I am sorry for Nigerians. This issue of saying this and this and this and this, we are taking up a criminal offense. And somebody is saying that it's because you did not get a leadership. Mobi, please look at it this way. If we catch an armed robber now, if he gives an information about another armed robber, are we going to just sit down and say that because we catch him, that is why he revealed the secret of another armed robber? Are the police or the SS not going to investigate and catch the other armed robber? What we are saying is that we don't want to assume or continue assuming that the National Assembly is crime free zone. We are sorry, we don't want to agree to that. Then number two, we don't want to agree again to anybody coming on television and abusing members of National Our constituency are disturbing us. I respect myself, my constituency respects me. I and I don't want a situation where Obasanjo will come on air and say everybody in the National Assembly is a thief. I am not a thief and I can never be by God's grace. So it is not a matter of your imposition of authority. I don't even pray to be a leader if this is the type of leadership I can have. Mm. Chamberlain wants to ask you a question. Yes, Chamberlain, listen. Could you tell us how did the Kano film project get into the budget? I told you already, but let me explain to you again. The Kano film project was brought in by Abdulmumin Jibril. After the, Nasha, the House of Rights had already passed the budget. Before the budget went to the president for assent, that is pardon. And we said anybody who pardoned should be investigated. For example, after investigation, if it was realized that what I said is not true, then at the moment is clean. Then whoever pardoned the budget also, we can give evidence to whoever is investigating. If it is realized that they did not pardon, then they are clean. And we agree that we don't understand the English meaning of padding. And we continue. But to say that there should not be investigation, that is our problem. Because we don't want Ethics and Privileges Committee of the House of Representatives to investigate this. Because it involves Nigerians. For example, when the Senate President is taken to the court on the issue of changing the order of the Senate, he can be taken to the court because it involves Nigerians. Because everybody wants things to be, ministers will be appointed, ambassadors will be appointed, this and this, and many things are going to be done with that order. So if the court clears him, then who took him to court or who made the allegation was not right. Then we continue. So in the same thing in padding, if the investigation takes place and it is convincingly explain to everybody in Nigeria that there was no pardon. We are not looking for anything more than that. What if the leadership resigns? Would you still be asking for an investigation? Do you mean if they resigned, that means they accepted that they pardoned? No, I mean... We want prosecution in, in, the, in the face of the allegations, mm -hmm. I mean, if they okay. feel that this is bring, going to bring the House of Reps to disrepute and they just want, you know, peace to reign and all members to be happy, and they say, look, this is our resignation, leave this alone. Well, would would Mope, you leave it alone? Mope will not leave it because we will only leave it if there will be no padding in 2017 and the present one is not executed by the executive. That is the only thing we want to Mope. We are not looking for any change of leadership except if the, you know, we are not representing the House of Representatives. Our group is not representing the House of Representatives. Our group is a pleasure group. It's an interest group. So what we are saying is, if there, would be, there had not been padding in 2016 budget, there wouldn't be any trouble with our group. Jibril and Dogara and anybody could be fighting, would be watching them. Because they are the same. They are the, in the same group. Mm. But what we are saying uh, now Jumala, is let me ask you. Place. Mm, let you could, could you then, does that mean, because yes. many listen to the former president, Lucio Basonjo, his comments about what has been going on. Is it true what he said?
Can you hear me? What Abbasan just said, what President Abbasan just said, is it true? Okay, Chambalin. You see, first of all, I want, to, I want you to have it noted that I respect Obasan as an elder statement. But the question, there are many questions to his statement. What he said is only true for those criminals that are in the National Assembly. Not all. The generalization is what is wrong, my friend. Because I cannot be accused of criminal activity in the National Assembly since when I came. And there are many people like me. So for Obasan to generalize, didn't you hear a senator who refused to collect 50 million naira bribe from Obasanjo? Can you tell me that a criminal will refuse 50 million naira bribe? And what that senator said is not a lie, or it's a true statement. Many senators are ref members that time refused that bribe. During that time, maybe you have forgotten, because you easily forget, because you are always current. So what we are saying is Obasanjo was right by his statement only on those criminals. But for him to generalize and say National Assembly, mm, Honorable, that this, is what was wrong. At this point, we'll have to leave it, you know, at that point. Thank you so much for coming on the program. We've been speaking to Honorable Lawal Gumau, who is a member of the Transparency Group. He's been discussing the budget padding controversy.